So nataka ni nene kwa kifupi asubuhi hii uh, on the power of thanksgiving. Uweza uliyofichwa katika kushukuru. The power in thanksgiving. Na was leading this scripture in the message bible. This scripture ambayo tunasema mara nyingi enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Na nasema kitu rais anasema enter with the password say thank you. Bwana asifiwe sana. As in the password to the throne room of God is the word thank you. Wacha tuondoe jina covid kwa vinywa vyetu. Tume tumeisifu sana, tumeiongea sana. Wacha tuone mkono wa Bwana. Kwa, kwa, kwa sababu you see God told his servant uh, Paul in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12 wakati anasema nikapewa mwimba wa kunitesa na kunisumbua ili nisijigambe anaongea anasema nikaomba mara tatu Bwana aniondolee mwimba ule lakini akaniambia neema yangu inakutosha maana nguvu zangu huonekana katika wakati wa udhaifu wako if there is a time we can say we have seen god it's a time like now when everybody was helpless kila mtu hakuwa na msaada hata wa kusaidia mwingine sababu hata yeye mwenyewe hawezi jisaidia wakati kama huo ndio mkono wa bwana unaonekana kwa ura, kwa urahisi na kwa jia kubwa and i know hata wewe unaweza ukaniambia umeuona mkono wa bwana hallelujah hallelujah So the book of Acts chapter number 16 verse 22 to 26 mesema the crowd also joined in the attack against them and the chief magistrates tore their robes off and ordered that Paul and Silas be beaten with rods after striking them many times with the rods they threw them into prison commanding the jailer to guard them securely he having received such a strict command threw them in the inner prison that is a dungeon and fastened their feet in the stocks in an agonizing position but about midnight when Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God and the prisoners were listening to them suddenly there was a great earthquake so powerful that the very foundations of the prison were shaken and at once all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened praise god you see this scripture paul and silas and luke and some other brethren walikuwa wameenda muji wa filipi na wakiwa pale wakaanza kunena neno la bwana na mama mmoja ambaye anaitwa lydia akawaona na akakubali injili kisha baadaye akawaalika katika nyumba yake na wakiwa wanaishi katika nyumba ya Lydia wakawa wakati mmoja wanaenda mahali pa maombi ndivyo maandiko inatuambia wakakutana na msichana aliyekuwa na roho ngeni ambaye Biblia inatuambia alikuwa anatumika kama chombo cha kutengeneza pesa na matajiri wa mji kwa sababu alikuwa like a fortune teller anawaambia vile kutafanyika vile kutaendelea na akawafuata akina Paul akaenda akiwaambia maneno haya ukisoma mstari wa saba ya kwamba hawa ni watumishi wa Mungu aliye juu sana na wamekuja kuwaletea injili ya jinsi mnaweza mkaokoka wakawasumbua kwa hayo maneno and the bible tells us Paul akawa trouble in his heart kwa sababu hata kama huyo msichana alikuwa anasema ukweli hakuwa ananena by the power of the spirit of god he discerned it was a evil spirit kwa hivyo akageuka na akakemea hiyo roho ikaondoka ndani ya yule msichana. Praise God. I don't have time to explain some of those things kwa sababu hapo kuna 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 undani wa neno la Bwana. Jinsi ambavyo watu udanganywa kwa sababu tu wameambiwa mambo inayokaa ukweli lakini kumbe wanabebwa by fallen spirits. But today we are not talking about that we are talking about thanksgiving. The Bible tells us umati wote ukaunganika katika marketplace wakawachukua Paul na Silas wakawapeleka kwa soko wakaanza kuwapiga the bible tells us wakawapeleka kwa mahakimu wakachapwa viboko hatujaambiwa ni ngapi 
lakini ukisoma vizuri utaelewa walichalazwa viboko kali kali one translation was saying walichapwa viboko za bao yani walichukuliwa bao wakachapwa nazo kisha baadaye kwa peano a command wakamatwa na wafungiwe na jela kwa sababu alielewa the seriousness of the matter akawaingiza jela lakini akawapeleka to the inner part of the prison tunaambiwa in a dungeon ni kama ni mahali pia ni ndani kabisa lakini ni kwa shimo and the bible also tells us something else wakafungwa miguu na wakawekwa in an agonizing position ya kwamba hata kama ni nini wako na shida hata ya mwili haleluya hatujaambiwa walifungwa aje but i'm thinking ukisikia mtu amefungwa in an agonizing position labda alifungwa miguu kama amejikuja na mikono ya kwamba hata the position itself analia kwa sababu ya uchungu maybe ni kama vile kulikuwa kunafanyika kule nyayo house katika zile no torture chambers huyo miaka ya zamani mtu amefungua mahali kwa nyumba haina stima amefungua mikono na miguu na maji na mnanyunarumu yenyewe iko na maji mpaka nusu yani hata kama ungetavuta situation ya kukaa vizuri you know ukifungiwa jela ya kawaida at least uko na uhuru fulani lakini hii si jela ya kawaida uko ndani ya nyumba imejaa maji iko na giza hujui mchana ama usiku you cannot rest praise the name of jesus hawezi hata fikiria kulala but i'm amazed by what happened with this man maandiko inatuambia paul na silas masa ya manane usiku wa manane wakiwa katika hiyo position wakainua sifa na maombi bela za bwana wakawa tu wanamtukuza bwana na niko najiuliza kwani walipata wapi sababu ya kusifu kwa sababu wameshikwa kwa sababu ya kuhubiri injili in fact their crime ilikuwa ni kufukuza pepo they did not have any other crime na si wangejawa na kunungunika si wangemwambia Mungu wewe sio mwaminifu ulitutuma hapa tumefanya kazi tume demonstrate ya power alafu umetuwekesha katika jela si wangechukua time waanze kulia na kuteta wakiabiana hata ni wewe Paul umefanya hii kazi kama hauge cast out that demon tungekuwa uhuru tunaelekea mahali tunaenda lakini maandiko inasema wakiwa in that situation they began to pray and to sing hymns unto the living god praise the lord wale wengine walikuwa kwa hiyo njera Ma- maandiko inatuambia wao tu walikaa wakiwaangalia wakisikiza kile wanasema but these two brothers in spite of the possession in spite of everybody else is not worshiping with them they decided to glorify god even in the midst of their trouble they decided to leave their voices and declare that god is god in whatever circumstance they de- decided in their spirit ya kwamba hawata na shida yao lakini wataona mkono mkubwa wa Mungu ambao uko nao even in that situation wakaamua so long as we are alive so long as we are not dead so long as there is breath in our bodies Jehovah shall be glorified in whatever situation we may not clap our hands we may not jump with our feet but we still have our spirits and we have our tongues they lifted a praise unto God they sang unto him maybe they were encouraging each other kwa maneno ya Yesu ambaye aliwaambia ya kwamba kubarikiwa ni nyinyi wakati watu watawatesa na wawatusi na wawekelee mambo kwa sababu ya mambo ya njina langu maana muko na urithi wakasema we praise you that we are suffering for the sake of the kingdom and as they were lifting the praise the bible says there was a massive earthquake katingiza jela paka misingi yake haleluya praise the name of jesus now what walikuwa kwa shimo so they had the foundations being shaken kukatingizwa mpaka misingi na maandiko pia inaongeza milango yote ya jela ikafunguka na inaongeza kitu kingine kila munyororo watu wote walikuwa wamefungwa nao sio tu wenye walikuwa naimba every prisoner who was in that cell akafunguliwa kutoka kwa minyororo yote and they were set free 
church I came to speak to us this morning whatever the situation we have a reason to praise God there is a power that flows with thanksgiving wakati umefanya kila kitu na bado mambo haisongi huko katika shimo kama watumishi hawa wa Mungu I want to declare to you there is power in lifting Jehovah I say there is power in worshiping the Lord imeandikwa kitabu cha Zaburi 22 na mstari wa tatu ya kwamba he inhabits the praises of his people he has exalted about the praises of his people hiyo sio tu kukaa ni kuinuliwa na kama bwana ameinuliwa katika sifa za watu wake he manifests his power he manifests his greatness today as we thank god let somebody know ya kwamba akinuka mambo hubadilika bwana inuliwe sana praise the name of jesus Nikitamani sana katika moyo wako uache kuhesabu vile watu wote wanahesabu ati isipokuwa ni covid ningefanya hivi isipokuwa ni corona ningeenda kule hapana badilisha wimbo wako wanza kusema si ni bwana amekuwa wa upande wangu wanza kusema unless the lord had been on my side kama bwana hangekuwa upande wangu ningemezwa kama wengine kama bwana hangekuwa upande wangu hata sisi tungezikana mtu wa covid kama wengine kama bwana hangekuwa upande wangu hata sisi tungelazwa kama wengine what did we do that we deserve this grace nasi kuna watu wako na nguvu kama Italy na France na kwingine na watu walikufa in thousands kwani sisi tumefanya nini ya kwamba mahali kwingine kumekufa zaidi ya watu elfu mbili lakini tuko hapa wa Kenya na wa Afrika katika neema ya Bwana let us decide in the midst of the pandemic we are going to lift our voices and praise Jehovah for he deserves all the glory Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you how this power works. The power of praise does another a number of things. Uweza wasifa ufanya mambo kadhaa. Nimebakisha dakika chache tuanze kuabudu na kusifu. Number one, it opens doors. Nguvu za sifa hufungua milango. Hata nisipoeleza sana tumesoma hiyo Acts chapter 16 na inatuambia wakati walikuwa wanasifu masaa ya manane haleluya kukiwa na giza wakiwa wamekunjwa ah praise god sijui kama umewahi unajua tukua vijana tungekuwa tunatembea mahali mnajipata mnaraa kwa kitanda moja vijana kama watano paka wakati mmoja anataka kujipindua mnaambiana we amuka tupinduke mnaanza kupinduka na rai kwa sababu the position is so agonizing praise god hamuna hata amani mpaka kupinduka ni shida hata blanket yenyewe haitoshi mwisho mpaka mwisho kwa sababu ya zile mashida wengine wamelalia mbao wanafinywa mahali kama hapo hata ukipata usingizi unashukuru Mungu sana you know maybe they were in such a condition lakini hata yao ilikuwa mbaya sababu hata wamefungwa na wanajua mahali wamewekwa lakini wakaamua watamuinua Bwana and you know what church hakuna mtu aliwafungulia milango wakati walikuwa wanaabudu wakati walikuwa wanasifu wakati walikuwa wanamwambia Bwana ni wewe wakati walikuwa wanasema hata sasa Bwana wewe umetamalaki maandiko inasema milango yote ya jela ikafunguka na kila mfungwa akafunguliwa akawekwa huru praises opens doors haleluya and as i've read the book of psalms 22 verse 3 The King James version says something powerful. He says, "O oh Lord, you are lifted in your holy place." Praise the name of Jesus. Thou art holy, O oh thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Wewe Bwana ni mtakatifu. Wewe unaeishi katikati ya sifa za wana wa Israeli. Other translations many of them use the word enthroned. Now let me tell you the difference between dwelling and enthroning. Dwelling ni kukaa. We know God is present everywhere. But when we are told he is enthroned in the praises of his people, it means he is manifested. He cannot be hidden. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. 
na ukitaka kujua mtu ambaye you know ni kama president president alikuja mahali akiwa president hello atebee kwako kwa akiwa president you cannot hide the glory you know, anaweza tembea kwa mkahawa wako kama customer akure na watu wasijue lakini akija kama mfalme ameinuliwa kama mfalme kila mtu atajua kuna kitu kuna mtu tofauti ameingia mahali pale na kuna mambo itabadilika wapendwa wakati bwana anasema ninainuliwa ama ninaishi katikati ya sifa za watu wangu anasema ninaonyesha uweza wangu wakati ninainuliwa the bible tells us in psalm 68 and verse 1 that let god arise and his enemies be scattered yani wakati ameinuka maadui zake wanatawanyishwa praise god huo wimbo ulikuwa na imbo na waisraeli wakati wanabeba the ark of the covenant wanainua wanasema wanasema my god arise now hallelujah wanabeba saduku la agano wakisema find your place of rest jipatie mahali pa pumziko yako and any time the ark of the covenant was lifted a miracle took place I say every time the ark was lifted wakisema father arise now we are moving to the next place something changed whenever the ark passed through nasema hivi wapendwa kitu chochote ambacho kitakutana na Mungu akiwa ameinuliwa lazima kibadilike hata kama ni nini likufungia nasema hata kama ulifungiwa na maneno ya aina gani hata kama waganga walifanya mkutano wakaweka miamba wakasema hautapita hapa when jehovah is lifted every enemy of destinies gives way to the praise of his name i say when god is lifted no matter the doors and the locks that have been used they have to lose their power for they cannot withstand the power of the almighty god somebody say i will praise him sema nitamsifu bwana you see the book of second chronicles chapter 5 verse 13 and 14 let me read the amplified version the bible says in unison when the trumpeters and singers were to make themselves heard with one voice praising and thanking the lord and when they raised their voices accompanied by the trumpets and cymbals and other instruments of music and when they praised the lord saying for he is good for his mercy and loving kindness endures forever then the house of the lord was filled with a cloud so that the priest could not return so he remained standing to minister because of the crown for the glory and brilliance of the lord filled the house one as few this is during the dedication of the temple in jerusalem wameungana pamoja kusifu maandiko inasema wakashikana waibaji wacheza vyombo wakamsifu bwana wakishukuru kwa sauti moja nalo wingu la utukufu likatoka mbinguni likakalia juu ya hekalu mahali makuhani walikuwa wamesimama tunaambiwa they could not remain standing hey praise god other translation tells us they could not perform their duties hakukuwa na nafasi ya kusema sasa tuwekelee mtu mikono sasa tufanye hiki na kile kingine there was no time for that because the glory of god and the brilliance of god had filled the temple when we praise god even the heavens open i say even the heavens open hata bingu zenyewe zinafungukanga Mungu anakuja kuangalia ni nani hao wanasifu hivyo. Hata kama we ni mgonjwa, just praise God. Anapoangalia ni nani anasifu, I tell you you shall be healed. Hata kama mwaka unaisha na ile madeni ulifikiria utamaliza, haijamalizika. Praise him like you have none because he is in control of those things. Wakati anakuja kuangalia ni nani huyo, something will change. There shall be an open heaven. Hata kama biashara haijakuwa sawa sana leo decide to praise and to thank him in the midst of the circumstances you shall be amazed by how powerful praises and thanksgiving are in the throne of god hallelujah praise the lord i'm remaining with a few minutes about five the second thing that praises and thanksgiving do they give greater victories wakati watu wanaamua kumsifu na kumshukuru bwana 
wanaona ushindi mkubwa kuliko kile wameona they no praise and thanksgiving give greater victories tunasoma kitabu cha Joshua chapter number 6 and verse 20 wakati tunasikia vile Jericho ilikuwa imefungwa naambiwa na maandiko Jericho was tightly shut because of the children of Israel and they had a big wall wasomi wanatuambianga ukuta ule ungepita rori mbili zipitane yani ilikuwa ni ukuta mkubwa na umupana na very fortified na ukitaka kujua ulikuwa mkubwa nyumba ya Rahab ilikuwa chini ya huo ukuta ama ndani ya huo ukuta yani ni ukuta mahali hata unaweza ishi ndani it was a big thing but verse 20 tells us when the people heard the sound of the ram's horns they shouted as loud as they could suddenly the walls of Jericho collapsed and the Israelites charged straight into the town and captured it ya kwamba wakati tu walisikia firimbi na ino na kelele za tarumbeta zikipigwa wakashangilia haleluya wakasha hawashangilii kwa sababu wameingia wanashangilia kwa sababu wanajua we have a god tuko na Mungu ambaye ni zaidi ya vile ambavyo hii ukuta inakaa they decided hata kama we are faced with a war they shouted and at the sound of the praise the walls of Jericho the bible says they collapsed amen na ukitaka kujua it was a divine thing. Hiyo haikubomolewa na shout na, na shout. Ni Mungu alishuka kuishughulikia. Kwa sababu yote ilibomoka, nyumba ya Rahab ikabaki imesimama. Kama ingekuwa ni kelele za kawaida, zingeagusha kila kitu. Lakini yote ilibomoka kukabaki ka nyumba ya mtu mmoja. That is how divine praises can become. I will praise God in my troubles. I will praise him in my situation. Whatever is holding back my life and destiny will not withstand the power of my God when he is enthroned. Akishainuka mambo ubadilika. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse number 22. The Bible speaks about wafalme walikuwa wanapigana na Jehoshaphat and the Bible tells us when they were singing and giving thanks unto the Lord. Na walikuwa naimba wakisema give thanks unto him for he is good and his love endures forever as they were singing and giving praise unto the Lord. The armies, the four armies were defeated. I don't know. Hallelujah. The four armies, in fact, another translation says they were struck down. If you can get the amplified, when they began singing and praising, the Lord sent ambushes against the sons of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah. So they were struck down in defeat. Wakati Bwana anainuliwa, oh, we get bigger victories. You can get more from the praises of the living God than you can get in any other place. You can do more in the marketplace when God is exalted than you can do with his skills alone. Let us lift Jehovah and he shall give you victories. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finally, we receive wholeness and establishment. Thanksgiving gives wholeness and establishment. Luke chapter 17 verse 15 to 19. I will not read. The Bible says, kulikuwa na watu kumi wa ukoma ambao Yesu alikutana na wao. Walipokutana na Yesu akawaambia, "Go and show yourself to the priests for your cleansing." Na wakati walikuwa naondoka, maybe the background of that mtu akiponywa ukoma kuhanidi alikuwa ana confirm umepona na wakaondoka wakaenda lakini wakiwa jiani from verse 15 one of them realized that they had been cleansed wameshatakaswa yani ukoma umeisha akakimbia kwa Yesu na inaonekana hawakuwa wameenda sana kwa sababu alinasema the bible actually says he just went back akalala bele mahali Yesu alikuwa so they had not gone very far ali palala akasema thank you thank you for healing me praise god the bible says yesu akauliza na simulikuwa kumi. lakini ni msamaria huyu peke yake amepatikana aje amusifu bwana 
akaambiwa by your faith your health has been restored praise god hallelujah by your faith you have been made whole by your faith you have been made well depending with what translation you are leading yani kile ambacho kilifanyika ni kwamba wote ukoma ulisimamishwa lakini aliyerudi kusifu na kusema asanti alirejeshewa mambo aliyopoteza kwa ugonjwa ule hey wote waliponywa ukoma uliacha kuwakula tena lakini wale tisa walienda tu kama ulikuwa umekula ngozi walienda na ngozi yao imekuliwa lakini hakuna ugonjwa lakini yule mmoja alirejeshewa kile ambacho kilikuwa kimepotea if you need completeness and establishment in your life just decide to praise god i say just decide to praise god and you're going to see things that you have not seen before First Chronicles chapter 17 the whole the entire chapter ni mambo ya Daudi Daudi amekuwa established when you read verse 1 when he was established in his palace First Chronicles chapter 17 akajiuliza kwa moyo wake if i am living in a good and fortified palace how comes the ark of god is under a tent akauliza Nathan what should i do Nathan akamwambia do whatever you feel you want to do. Na aliposema ya kwamba nitamjengea Bwana hekalu. Maandiko inasema Mungu akamtuma Nathan akamwambia aende uambie Daudi nilimchukua akiwa mdogo nikamuestablish na kumfanya mkubwa juu ya Israeli. Lakini sasa when you reverse 10 muambie hivi mimi ndiye nitamjengea nyumba yake na hata ya baada amekufa sio tu wakati huu hata akifa nitainua mwanae mmoja ambaye atanijengea hekaru na ufalme wake nitaustablish milele na sitafanya kama vile nilifanya na yule alikuwa mbele yako yani Mungu akazungumza i am going to establish you permanently hallelujah just because he recognized he was a king not because he had merits ndugu zake walikuwa wakubwa kumuliko walikuwa na nguvu kumuliko walikuwa na training ya battle walikuwa soldiers na commanders katika jeshi la Sauli lakini bwana akamchukua akiwa mdogo akamfanya mfalme akasikia ndani yake i have settled down but the ark of the covenant have not yet settled i will honor god by building him a house and the lord told him because of that heart i am going to establish you may the lord establish you in this moment of praise i say may the lord establish you in this moments of praise tunapomuinua adhibitisha mwito wako adhibitisha nyumba yako adhibitisha jamii yako adhibitisha maisha yako adhibitisha biashara zako i say may the lord establish you praise god and you see paul when he was speaking with timothy first team of the chapter 6 from verse number 14 sorry verse 17 alikuwa anamzungumzia kuhusu wale ambao bwana amewabariki na kuwatajirisha akamwambia waambie waamulishe matajiri wasiku wasijigambe lakini wajawe na moyo wa shukurani as in they be generous they recognize that it is god who has blessed them praise the lord Waambie wasijigambe let them acknowledge god by just being generous and then verse 19 he tells them by doing so they shall lay for themselves a treasure that will last that will last you know you can get wealth but it evaporates but if you decide to honor god with it it will last it is going to be established kuna mzee nilisikia hadithi yake alikuwa anasema yeye ni tajiri sana Mungu amempita na shilingi moja. Atendie de mtogumo no gaya kwa kwa greta na shilingi moja. According to him he was very rich. He did not know that when you honor God your riches endure. Whatever God has given you, riches can stand for your your career, your ministry, even wealth itself, and other things, even your family. Honor God and he's going to establish you. 
I pray in the name of Jesus that even today as we praise, there's going to be a power that opens doors for you. There's going to be a power that establishes you. There's going to be a power that transforms your life and gives you greater victories than you can win anywhere else. Want us to rise. Nataka tumuinue Mungu na yeye atushughulikie. Sasa wacha kufikiria kuhusu watu. Wachana na watu sasa. Wachana na, na ni nani neighbor. Just decide to give thanks to God. We get a moment of worship and praise. Tumutukuze tu Bwana. Hali zako si hali. Kaa kama Paul. Wamefungwa lakini Mungu ni Mungu. Leo hauna pesa ya Christmas but God is God. Na hajasema hata kupea bado Christmas haijafika. Just decide to lift him and to worship him. Just worship the Lord. He is good and his mercy endures forever. God we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory Lord. Oh God in your presence is the best praise to be. And now here we are to give you praise and to give you honor, Lord. We stand amazed in your presence, Lord. For there is nothing you cannot do. Zeka borobo shara bagande nene washa. Reko zata baba mabushi kete. Oh Lord, we give you all the praise. My God, we cannot do anything else. We can lack what to tell you, but we can only say we praise you. Oh pakatoro mushi nara bagande nene washa. Reka zama mushi nene nene mushi nene mushi. Oh God, oh God, we give you praise. There's no one like you. Get on the mountain, Oh God, we
Nataka turukaruka tukishangilia Bwana. Let, let's let's make this day the day of the Lord. Ni yake, ni yake. Mkubali tu. Just jump up as you celebrate to the Lord. Nirukia Bwana ukishangilia. to dance for God. I want us to dance for God. Hallelujah. Just dancing. No singing, just dancing. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to dance? Let's get some good dancing music. He's yake. And then after that we to funge ibada. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise and we exhort you. Thank you for your honor in our lives. And we proclaim there is no one like you. For all you have done in this year, take all the glory. And for everything you are doing before the year closes, take all the glory. And for everything you are doing in the next year, take all the glory, my God. The praise and the worship belongs to you. He is the Sifa Zote and Isaac. Makofi Haya Kuruka Huku Kucheza Huku. It's all about you, my God. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, Jesus. We celebrate you in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. My God of grace, even as we enter into the festivity season, I commission your people under your grace, your power and your covering. Oh, that Jehovah King of glory, they shall be victorious in every circumstance. Cover them as they travel, we pray. Watch over their lives, oh Jesus. Protect them from the hand of the enemy. Satisfy them with good things, oh God. May there be a provision for, of every kind in their lives and in their hearts, oh Jesus. I proclaim, Lord, you reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. In Jesus' name we pray and we give you all the glory. Amen and amen and amen. I'll put you in front. Jina yangu ni Reverend John wa kanisa la KAG Emmanuel Church Matangi upande wa Ruiru. I will obey the Lord. Chukua fursa hii kukaribisha katika ibada zetu kila siku ya Jumapili saa 3:30. Kanisa letu rika upande wa Matangi, Veta Ward, karibu na Kimbo ama Nibs ya College Thikaru. Ya unaweza tupata kwa YouTube ama Facebook, KAG Emmanuel Church Matangi. Shiriki nasi, najua mungu atakubariki.